Hi guys, me again. Want to give a quick video here. This is a Ford E250 2004. And my employees are driving it today and they said, hmm, we don't have any AC coming out the front vents. Well, from looking at things up, this is a common problem with Fords, especially with their vacuum systems. So what I did is I took off the doghouse. Um, it's sitting right over here. It just has these four buckles on it. It's pretty easy to lift out. And then I also, so I can get a better idea with where stuff's located, I popped off this this plastic plate that covers this. I'm getting ready to bolt that back on. But I wanted to make a quick video here so I could tell you how I actually sort of troubleshooted this. So what they're saying, the problem was here was when they turned it to any of the AC settings here, norm, max, Vent, didn't matter all the air comes out of the defrost and from looking on YouTube and everything else everyone says that Fords and other cars as well default out of the defrost vents when there's something wrong probably because they feel that if you have an icy windshield defrost is the most important but right now it is uh, September end of September right now and it's hot so they want air to come out of these vents so I started looking at the different problems. And if you look all the way into here, you'll see there's an actuator there. This is your blower motor. There's an actuator here. I messed with this actuator. I pushed the plunger up and down, and it didn't really seem to do anything. And then I pushed this door. There's a door right behind here, that grid-looking pattern. You can push that, and that's a flapper door, which is actuator controls. And that didn't really seem to do anything either. I looked for signs of a loose vacuum line. They say ties into the vacuum ball, which is on top of the AC condenser, which is about a five hour job to get to in this van because everything's really tight. I also looked for, they say on the intake manifold. Now I'm not really exactly sure which one's the intake manifold because they both have exhaust pipes. Coming out here and there's one on that side too. So I just started visually looking for loose connections a broken vacuum line and I basically saw nothing and then we also have a 2004 Ford Taurus and I remember that in the top of this Taurus was an access panel and I'm getting ready to show you something here I'm like I think if I remember correctly there's more access panels up here as well excuse me while I get my Leatherman out I think there's more access panels up here, if I'm not mistaken. And I think some of the controls are also behind here. So all I did is I popped this up. Okay, and I wanted to see what was under here. So I popped this up like this. And I wanted to run the van. My employee ran off with the keys. Basically, you'll see two actuators here. This one, honestly, right now, I haven't done the research to see what else it needs. This one, however, controls this lever, and this is a lever that controls whether the air comes out of the defrost or the front vents. And if you can see, this little actuator arm right here has a hole in the end of it, attaches right to here. So I just lifted the arm out of it, and now this can freely spin it can freely turn like so okay you can hear the flapper valve going back and forth i left it in a position where the air is coming out the vents i'm going to look and see if maybe this part is bad there's a possibility there's a serial number right there so i'm gonna look it up and i'm gonna replace it and maybe this is all it is it could be something this simple because it does rely on the vacuum once again to run this little valve right here um Anyway, air came out the front of the vents, and in the wintertime, I suppose, if you want to have some defrost, well, by golly, it's easy enough to pop off the vent and move that with your finger. Um, I realize it's a work car, and I like everything to be in ship shape, but for the amount of time that it takes to tear into this thing and do a bunch of troubleshooting versus just manually moving it like so, I'll take the lesser of the two evils because it still gets the job done either way. So once again, you're either looking for air to come out the front vents 90% of the time or out of the defrost. 
and there's the actuator that controls both of them right there on top easy to get to all right that's it for now hope you guys enjoyed the video talk soon all right hello again guys once again it's me just wanted to show you everything back together i put the metal piece back on and the plastic shield once again i did that just so i can have the access in here but at the end it really didn't make much difference doghouse is back on I want to show you another close-up of this with the engine running. I do have air coming out these vents now. Once again, here's the actuators. And like I said, switching it from here to there is the difference between your defrost cycle and no air coming out these vents. So yes, it is a vacuum problem. It could be this unit here. I will replace it since it's easy to get to and see if that's the problem or it can used to be a matter of a seasonal change with your finger. As long as my guys are comfortable is the most important thing. And I didn't want to have to tear through the whole system when this is an easy fix. So thank you Ford for putting this right on top, right underneath this access plate, because that part makes life easy. You could have made it more difficult and put it someplace where you can never find it, but you didn't. So therefore that's my fix. Thanks guys, and once again, this is a 2004 E250, but I think the setup's probably the same for the E150s and the E350s as well. Um, and uh, we got quite a few miles on this van. It's been a great van. There's nothing else wrong with it. That's the first thing that's ever come up in quite a while, so I think it's worth uh, investigating to see what's wrong before you throw it in the shop. And uh, luckily we came across that fix, so there you go. Okay, thank you.